The gallery was set up to sort of honour the legacy of Barbara Hepworth, to make people from Wakefield feel proud that one of the greatest British artists came from Wakefield. And I think the building itself is really a, essentially a huge sculpture um, within the landscape, very much what Barbara Hepworth um, would have done with her sculptures. 2016 was our fifth anniversary year, and to mark that, we set up um, the Hepworth Prize for Sculpture, which really aimed to do a couple of things. One was to bring the best in contemporary sculpture to the heart of Yorkshire, and two, really to ignite a wider debate about sculpture now. The Sculpture Prize was a fantastic moment for us. We purposefully chose very different um, artists um, who deal with sculpture in very different ways to really educate the people of Wakefield and further afield what sculpture can be. I'm a volunteer here twice a week, which I love. With the, the, the lighting here and the sun, you get far more. We are keepers of the objects, so we have a duty of care to the objects, but also we have a duty to the public. The days of mausoleums in galleries are finished. And this is what is lovely here, because it is a welcoming atmosphere. We're very ambitious here. We aim to deliver a first-class exhibition programme with both contemporary artists and with our collection. Um, we aim to be completely inclusive, so we aim to be for the people of Wakefield, but also an internationally recognised gallery. So this one is one of my favourite drawers because it's got the stones that Barbara Hepworth collected. I have the most amazing conversations with people, um, people that have never been to Wakefield, people that are local. Um, people that come for the first time, people that have been like 20 times more. It's definitely um, one that visitors always ask about and when they come in the room it's, they walk straight there and go wow. There's so much going on and the exhibitions just seem to get stronger and stronger. So this is Disobedient Bodies, J.W. Anderson curates the Hepworth Wakefield. This is a really special part of the exhibition. It's great, you see people getting inside these jumpers, tying arms together. I can come up on different days and it can be completely different. So we get lots of schools coming in. We do lots of workshops inspired by the exhibitions. It's a really great chance for children to learn new techniques and work together with the families. It's almost become a human form now. It's not in any way a stuffy gallery that uh, you, you might expect. Because what we're all about here is really making sure that art is for everybody and we want everybody to feel inspired and that they can engage with the gallery.